I'll just go right into questions. Okay. Uh, Tim, then Jimmy, then Vince. Coach, you talked a little bit about your relationship with the Stoops family as a whole uh, on Monday. Kentucky's been a job where it's been tough for them. Why has Mark Stoops had so much success there? Uh, he's done a good job of, of uh, building that program from the, the ground up. Uh, they play hard. They play smart. And, uh, they're a physical football team. You put those three things together, you got a chance to, to continue as a program. They've done that. Josh, uh, with Tillman being out, how valuable is Ramel Keegan been for your offense? That's been huge. Um, you know, from the first game that he stepped in, um, you know, it hasn't been too big for him. He's operated and functioned at a really high level. He's made a bunch of plays. You can see the trust that Hendon has with him. It's important offensively that, that you have guys that you trust in all of those positions. Otherwise, they have the ability to key in, double, or roll coverage to somebody. And um, Ramel's play has been, uh, been huge for us. Josh, obviously, you guys you have talked about leadership on this team, and it's been a big part of your success. Can you give us some specific examples of that leadership showing through, maybe even some things that, that we don't see? Yeah, I, I mean, there's there's so many moments of, of that taking place. I, I think one of the biggest things is when you're on the practice field, and I, I just go back to our spring practice this year, um, the ability of, you know, we were intentional in trying to give them opportunities, but at each position, a leader, you know, having a minute or two in the middle of practice to, to regroup, refocus, and re-energize their position group. And you saw guys at every position uh, do that consistently on a, a daily basis. Uh, it might be BY with the D line, might be Jacob Warren with the tight ends. Um, obviously, um, you know, Hendon has done a phenomenal job. The ownership that, you know, guys at the DB position have had with the entire unit, uh, you feel their energy, their focus, their purpose every day. Um, if something hasn't been right, it hasn't always been a coach that, or me that's had to call the group up and, and get it right, man. They're taking ownership. And you see it on the practice field and the way that they coach each other. And that was true. You know, it was so remarkably different this spring versus a, a year ago. So uh, those are some moments just dating all the way back to spring ball. But then, you know, during the course of play, um, you know, it doesn't go right. <clears throat> the energy and look from those leaders and being able to regroup their guys on, on the sidelines has, has been massive. And, I'm really proud of you know the guys that are on our leadership council and the guys that take ownership of, of our locker room. Mike and Ben. Josh, is there any change in Kevin McCullough's status for this Saturday? No, you guys have heard me say uh, earlier that uh, you know he's been cleared on the on the campus side of it. Um, you know, whoever looks at that uh, has uh, decided that based on the evidence that they cleared him. Uh, he's been with us here the last week, and and uh, so we'll see. Josh, those associated with the program outside the facility have been talking about this being a track game because of what's next Saturday. Does that annoy you to hear talk about as a track game and how you feel like you all have games this week? Nah, it doesn't matter how you phrase it. The only one that matters as a competitor is the next one, right? Everybody's talking about the last one. You're only as good as your next performance, being able to refocus, regroup, and uh, be consistent, man. What's been great about this team, the reason that you know, one week at a time up until this point, we found a way to be the best team on the field is, is their preparation and the way they practice. And then at the end of the day, you got to go cut it loose on game day and, and play harder for longer than your opponent. Vince? Is there any comparison with any quarterbacks that you played this year with the way Kentucky uses Will Levis in the run game? Man, uh, I'd, it'd be unfair of me to, to go back through all, all the teams that we played. He is a major part of what they do uh, on the offense side of the ball. He does a great job controlling it. You can see him redirect protections. Um, he's a big part of them, obviously, play action pass, boots, movements, and uh, at times in the run game. Wes? It's that time when we'll Cedric Tillman play on Saturday. We were debating whether that was the first question or one of the last questions. So I appreciate it. I thought you just put out one of your quotes from uh, from previous weeks here at this point. Well, I'm working on it. I've got it ready to go. I like it. I like the consistency. You know what I mean? Uh, now we'll uh, we'll see where he's at when we get uh, get through tomorrow and and, uh, and on game day uh, again. You know, Cedric's going to be a part of that decision and, and our medical staff doing the best what's best for him in the long term and short term. Another question. Tim. <clears throat> How important is it to get off to a fast start against Kentucky? 
um, it's important um, you, that you play well for 60 minutes. Um, would we love to get off to a fast start? Yeah, uh, absolutely. But, uh, you know, you guys have seen games unfold differently, and you just got to keep playing. So um, would love to start fast, but uh, we'll go play ball and play for 60 minutes. Uh, I think they continue to get better. You guys have seen we got a lot of young guys on there that uh, have continued to grow throughout the course of the season. Uh, coverage units uh, have been really solid. Um, our return units uh, continue to get, get better. Um, you know, getting D back on the punt return side of it has been big. We've created some field position uh, with that unit. Uh, expect us to continue to get better on all of those units with as many young guys as we're playing. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.